Hello everybody, welcome back. This is NK and you are on my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe so that you do not miss out on any of my fun content. So today, I thought it would be really fun to share with you how I make my protein pancakes. So first off, I do apologize for the ringing noise. There's been construction going on for at least a week right outside my apartment, so we're just gonna ignore that as much as we can. Anyway, so now back to the protein pancakes. So I have been recently watching a lot of YouTubers who are making these, and honestly, I didn't try to seek out, oh, how do they make them? I just happened upon videos of them making these type of pancakes, and I thought, oh, that seems pretty easy. For some reason, I thought, making pancakes was a lot harder than it looked simply because I always thought about the pancake mix as just already being there and I was like, how do I make that from scratch? But it actually is quite easy and a lot of YouTubers, I think, for that inspiration. The ingredients I use are old-fashioned oats, like loose oats. Then I use this Aria Woman's Wellness Protein Powder. I get it at Target. I got this at a local grocery store. This was like $2 and this is huge, so this will last a very long time. This I got at this I got at Trader Joe's actually and this is like $9. And it's pretty big. I've had it for so long. They have multiple flavors, but I just love vanilla flavored things, so I decided to get that. And it packs so much protein in it. It's 15 grams of protein and we love that. Then I let's see. I put in almond milk so I can't have regular milk because that just really messes up my stomach and my digestive system. So I like using almond milk for literally everything, my decaf coffee, anything I use, the milk replacement, I use almond milk. So I'll be putting that in there. And then I always put one egg. I put, for sweetness, I like to put brown sugar and cinnamon. And then we need to have a banana as well in there. So backstory of banana, I feel like I already mentioned this in many other videos, is that I cannot eat a banana straight up. Like I will never peel a banana and just put it in my mouth. It's never gonna happen because I'm weird with texture and I don't like the texture of bananas, but I realized I can incorporate bananas in a lot of things. And bananas are actually one of the most healthy fr fruits there are because of all the potassium. So I really do need to incorporate it more in my diet. And so I've been putting them in smoothies and in protein pancakes. And so I'm still getting my potassium, but I'm not just eating a straight up banana. And then what I like to also do is top the pancakes with blueberries. And then I found this syrup that is like a light, it's literally called light pancake syrup. And this is great because I am trying to cut out excess sugar like i'm big big sweet tooth but i like to cut out excess sugar so that's something that i found at a local store that i was like okay this is great this is way less calories than actual syrup and you love that so i will get started making it so it's going to be kind of like a montage rather than me talking about it how i make it is in my magic bullet this thing is honestly so amazing. I know came to be a very long time ago, like when I was a kid, but so many benefits. I can make literally everything in here. I make my smoothies, I make the batter, I make a bunch of different things. So your juices. So we love her. All right, let's get started. Something else I wanted to mention is that 
The reason why I'm eating more protein is because I am working out more consistently and I'm lifting a lot of heavy weight and your body definitely needs to be fueled by protein to compensate for all the calories and the weight that you're lifting. So I wanted to also jump on here and say that. This smells so good and now I'm gonna put it on the pan. masterpiece it is so beautiful I almost don't want to eat it but I'm actually starving because I did go to the gym so I do need to eat this super easy to make not the very many ingredients and it keeps you full for so long like this is definitely something that keeps me full for at least three to four hours and then I'll have my next meal but just wanted to show you guys a little bit about what I eat especially when I am trying to maintain a healthy balanced diet while I am working out pretty consistently. I do have a workout video if you are interested in that. It is down below as well as a what I eat in a day and my recent Trader Joe's haul. All of that is linked below. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like these type of videos, please let me know by commenting down below, sending me a DM, and I will talk to you guys later.